Hey guys, Rob Miller from CrossFit Delaware Valley here. I'm at the whiteboard and I'm going to talk a little bit about some stuff that I think is applicable to our athletes and maybe applicable to you. And it's some real basic stuff in CrossFit. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about power and intensity. And we're going to talk about this cool model called the theoretical development of an athlete and why that might be important to you in your CrossFit journey. Uh, first, some basics. Uh, when we talk about CrossFit, right, we talk about generating a lot of power with our workouts. Uh, because what we know about power is power essentially is equal to intensity, and intensity is where results are, right? So regardless of what you're coming to me for, if you're not working at a certain intensity, a relative intensity to you, you're not gonna get what you want. So that could be, hey, I wanna lose uh, some weight. Okay, let's do functional movements, let's vary them, and let's work out intensely, right? Or, hey, uh, I wanna get stronger. Okay, functional movements, let's vary them, let's go with high intensity, right? Doesn't matter what the goal is, at the end of the day, I need you to be intense in order to get some results, okay? Now again, that intensity is relative, so what's intense for me? might be easy for you, or it could be hard for you, but you have to find your own personal intensity envelope and start to push that envelope out, right? Don't need to conquer the world in one day, be Chris Spieler in one day, but one or two reps a day, five more pounds, two more minutes, and keep going, keep pushing, and get that number as high as you can, okay? There's more information about that in early CrossFit journals, what is CrossFit and what is fitness. I encourage you guys to read those. Um, in that What is Fitness article, they talk about this theoretical development of an athlete. And the creator of CrossFit, Greg Glassman, he postulated that athletes uh, build skills on top of each other. And we start at the bottom uh, with nutrition, right? So you have to fuel your efforts, right, with, uh, with good solid nutrition and have a good base to build from. From there, we move up to conditioning, or as he put it, metabolic conditioning. And in, I look at that as uh, essentially lungs, right? Lungs, air, gas exchange, fuel exchange. Can you power the effort, right? If you're playing soccer, can you chase that ball down the field or do you peter out, right? You're not going to be a good soccer player if you don't have conditioning. The next level is gymnastics. Uh, we don't necessarily mean gymnastics like on a pommel horse or on rings. We just mean body control, right? So you need to be able to move your own body. Can you perform a good air squat? Can you do a chin-up? Can you do, uh, you know, in our world, push-ups, things like that. The next level is called weightlifting and throwing. Hopefully you can see that on the camera. And again, this doesn't necessarily mean a platform and jerks and snatches. It just means control of an external object, right? Could be as simple as a barbell or a dumbbell. Could be in sport, maybe controlling a ball or some other thing that's ex you know, external to your body. Uh, but all of those things culminate up here in sport, right? For us, the sport happens to be CrossFit, but your sport might be, again, soccer or could be boxing or something else, right? But you can look at this model against whatever you do and say, oh, hey, if I have poor conditioning, the things above it are going to be affected. Or if I have poor nutrition, the things above it are going to be affected. So the first thing that we want you guys to con you know, concentrate on is evaluating yourself against the pyramid and go bottoms up, right? To look at yourself and say, okay, I've gotten some skill at weightlifting and then, you know, my deadlift has gone up, but where are these other things? What's my conditioning look like right now? Right? It's very, very uh, potent when you plot this against CrossFit workouts. I've met plenty of people that are strong enough to do a 95-pound thruster. But when I throw 45, pound, or 45 repetitions at them and then 45 pull-ups a la Fran, they crash and burn. Right? And so that points to me, hey, you might have some of that strength. Your control of an external object may be there. Where's your conditioning? Right? Or where's your nutrition? Right, so again, looking at the bottom of the, of the pyramid, trying to figure out, you know, take an honest assessment, what's going on down here? You know, the nutrition thing is funny because that can manifest itself in a lot of ways. I think the common way to think about it is, you know, fuel for your workout. Hey, am, am I getting the right stuff so that I can push really hard? I also look at this as the layer for body composition, right? So if your nutrition is screwed up, chances are you're too heavy, you're carrying extra pounds, or maybe you're underweight, right? You're not gonna perform at these other levels. So if you get this straightened out, your body returns to its normal sort of body composition, the, the state that it should be in. Think about how much more effective you're gonna be at the, uh, the levels above it. All right, we already talked about conditioning, but again, those athletes that are strong enough that don't have the lungs to continue in workouts, so they're constantly having to do you know, the old three-point rest in CrossFit, we gotta get you some conditioning-centric workouts to, to build that skill. Um, gymnastics is funny, right? Because again, we can have somebody who wants to come into the gym, hey, I wanna back squat a ton of weight, I wanna do uh, you know, this big press or whatever. Hey, what's your air squat look like? 
what kind of body control do you have? Can you get your hips below your knees? Can you spread your knees? Can you keep your lumbar extension? And all the stuff that we demand via these body control movements, right? Make sure that's there before we get up here, right? You can kind of think of this as, you know, the sexy scale. All the sexy stuff is at the top. You gotta start with the not very sexy stuff. You gotta be the master of the mundane and hit this stuff really hard down here before you, you get up there. Uh, any questions you guys have, you can email me at rob at CrossFit Delaware Valley. I hope you enjoyed this little video. We'll see you in the gym.